everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you all my final Jan Marini skincare management system review. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I am a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, be sure to subscribe if you have yet to subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. I have normal skin that suffers primarily from hormonal breakouts. My skin is easily irritated by some facial scrubs. I am also sensitive to some fragrance, some essential oils and drying alcohols in skincare. I tolerate acids very well. I've had chemical peels, microdermabrasions, and hydrofacials to treat and manage my skincare concerns. My skincare concerns, of course, are not limited to, but they are uh, the signs of aging sun damage and pore size. I have uploaded two videos discussing my experience with the Jan Marini skincare management system uh, where I share with you all my morning and my evening skincare routines. I will link those up above and down below for you in case you would like to pay them a visit. I thoroughly enjoyed this test. This test was only meant to uh, last three weeks, but it went on to five weeks. Because the signs of aging are one of my top skincare concerns, I paired the skincare management system with the Jan Marini Age Intervention Retinol Plus Face Cream to see how my skin would tolerate the Jan Marini skincare management system. Throughout the test, I made sure to listen to my skin as the system does include a ton of actives. It took a while for my skin to sort of adjust to the skincare management system, but with a little help of my Murad hydrating toner, I was able to keep my skin from falling off. Just kidding. <laughs> to be honest, I I really took it easy uh, with the skincare management during a week one slash phase one uh, by only using the Bio Clear, which looks like this, uh, once per day. And that was during the nighttime skincare portion. You should know that Jan Marini's products are all pH balanced, so you do not need a toner. However, as you all know, I am a creature of habit. I had to use the toner after cleansing the skin for the first two weeks because um, I was exfoliating the skin so, so much. So not only are you exfoliating the skin with the bioglycolic facial cleanser, but you are also exfoliating the skin with the Bio Clear face lotion. In all seriousness, though, the hydrating toner really did help to further hydrate my skin. On week two or phase two of the test, I began to use the Bio Clear lotion during the morning and evening portion of my skincare routines. I definitely noticed a huge improvement in the texture of my skin throughout this portion of the test. My skin really did feel a little bit more balanced throughout this week. Throughout the test, unfortunately, experienced um, a lot of hormonal breakouts, some of which are still healing now. During week three or phase three of the test, I continued to use, you know, to do the same routine. My skin definitely felt smoother, felt firmer, and skin was a lot more bouncy. During week three, um, I would sometimes skip the hydrating toner because I felt like my skin did not need it or crave it. On week four, I added the Age Intervention Retinol Plus, and the following morning, I did notice that my skin woke up 
a little bit more luminous. Almost the same way that it did when I was using the Summer Fridays Soft Reset. Phase three in the skincare management system asks that you use the Bioglycolic Face Cleanser, Siesta, BioClear Lotion, the Transformation Cream, and the SPF during the day. And at night, you want to use the Retinol Plus uh, every other night or nightly while omitting the BioClear and the SPF. I will say this, I was looking for the same glow that my skin was able to achieve while using the Summer Fridays Soft Reset with the BioClear Lotion. But the glow never really got there, unfortunately. But that was until I introduced the Age Intervention Retinol Plus to the skin. That is when I achieved a, a glow similar to the one I had when I was using the Summer Fridays Soft Reset. I did manage to get my skin to phase four um, where I'd use the Bioglycolic Facial Cleanser, Siesta, which I emptied, BioClear, and the Retinol Plus, and the Transformation Cream all on the same night. Now that is a lot, a lot of actives. I will insert a clip of myself talking here where you can see what my skin looked like when that was happening. The lighting is going to be a bit different as I did manage to break a light, but you'll be able to see my skin with no makeup. On week five, as I mentioned, I did manage to empty my Siesta Facial Serum, and some nights I would go without the BioClear face lotion, and this wasn't because I felt like my skin uh, needed a break for it. I would just skip it. I have no idea why, um, but I would just go in, do a bi bioglycolic siesta, age intervention, and the transformation cream as part of my nighttime routine. Sometimes I would just use the BioClear face lotion while still using the siesta and the retinol um, on the forehead since that has been a, an area of concern for me for a long time. The only time where I experienced flaking was during week one. But after that, even after using the vitamin C serum, the glycolic, and the retinol all at the same time, my skin did not feel tight, dry, itchy, or flaky, or irritated at all. All. Uh, my skin, however, as you should know, is conditioned to the use of exfoliating acids. Overall, my skin felt smoother, it looked brighter, it felt bouncier, and it looked great when I applied makeup, whether it be a full coverage foundation as I am wearing right now, or my Ilia skin tint, which I still love and use. At no time, did the layering of all of these products pill or affect the longevity or wear of my makeup. Definitely love, love that about the system that you can layer all of these actives, all of these products without them pilling. To list some pros, this is definitely a results driven range. Janarini does offer a dry, very dry system option and a normal combo option. The dry, very dry uh, option includes the BioClear, but it comes in a cream form. And that cream is very, very rich. So if you have dry, very dry skin, I would highly recommend that kit. But if you have normal combo skin, definitely wanna get the normal combo system that includes the face lotion as I have right here. I definitely appreciate that this system takes the guesswork out of planning out or thinking your morning and evening routines. This kit is great for those who are not skincare junkies. Um, I think it's perfect for those who live a minimalist lifestyle. All you may have to purchase in addition to the kit 
is probably a, a makeup remover if you're a makeup wearer, um, an eye cream or a lip product or a retinol accelerator or maybe a, a product that is designed for acne such as Jan Marini's Duality. Um, if you are dealing with hyperpigmentation, maybe you want to pick up their Luminate Face Lotion. I think that's what it's called. This is also a great investment if you have used a ton of, say for example, Sephora or Ulta products and you aren't seeing the results you need. Uh, maybe your skin is just ready for something like this. A couple of cons. Because this is a results-driven skincare management system, you definitely have to be careful or tread lightly as your skin adjusts to the system. If you lean sensitive, you may have to omit the BioClear face lotion more than I did. Instead of, say for example, using it nightly, you may choose to use it every other night, or perhaps you won't be able to reach phase two, which calls for this to be used morning and evening until week three or, or week four. Another con for me is the packaging of the BioClear face lotion. I did mention this in my other videos. I just wish that this came in a pump form because I do feel like there is a buildup of product here along um, the opening here. Pricing, let's chat about pricing here. So if you purchased all of the skincare management uh, products individually, you would pay $405. However, the kit retails for $310. So buying the kit is almost like getting the SPF and the cleanser for free. The bioglycolic facial cleanser here alone retails for $42. A couple of highlights, um, I love the minimal ingredients list here. I like the texture. Um, I feel like it's effective at cleansing the skin. It's very active on the skin. I don't feel a tingle now, of course. Um, I have continued to use this and it's probably like week six or seven now and I'm not feeling a tingle with this um, now. It's very active um, and this is not drying. My only con for this is that it doesn't lather and that is just a, a personal preference. Um, some people may be okay without this lathering. This is not a deal breaker for me just because I think it's effective at cleansing the skin. This is, however, not a makeup remover, so do remember that. If you do want a makeup removing cleanser from the Jan Marini skincare range, the Siesta facial cleanser is amazing and it gives you the most amazing lather as well and it is very effective at removing makeup. Siesta facial cleanser, I have that in my empties box, um, but that retails for $116 alone. Um, here I like the scent, um, although it can be sensitizing, this vitamin C serum is not sticky. It gives the skin a very healthy glow. However, this is not an overwhelming glow. That would be uh, a deal breaker for say, for example, uh, oily skin. I feel like it's a very kind of healthy, subtle glow. The vitamin C that is used within this serum is ascorbyl palmitate, which is a lipid soluble form of a vitamin C. And the Siesta Facial Serum also contains hyaluronic acid to hydrate and diffuse the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. We also have the antioxidant daily face protectant, which I'm almost out of, I'm like all the way down here. This alone retails for um, $55. I find this to be very hydrating, lightweight, and it spreads really nicely over the skin. Also contains beta-glucan 1 and 3, hyaluronic acid, and an oil capture system to help control and prevent breakthrough shine. Despite the test being over, I am wearing it um, underneath my uh, full coverage foundation today, and I feel like 
it, it works really, really nicely as a uh, primer for foundation. BioClear Lotion now. The BioClear Face Lotion, this alone retails for $80. Um, I love that this is a results-driven, lightweight, perfect for dull skin dealing with texture and breakouts. This serum contains 12% glycolic acid and 2% salicylic acid. We also see azelaic acid. This is going to address fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, acne, and skin redness. This is uh, meant to soften, smooth, and give the skin a more luminous, hydrated look. And last but certainly not least, let's chat about the Transformation Face Cream. This alone retails for $112. This is a lightweight, little goes a long way, hydrating formula. This did not make my skin feel oily at all um, throughout the day or even at the end of the day. This does have some fragrance and some poor ingredients as well, but it, it did not irritate my skin at all. This contains a transforming growth factor, beta-1, anti-aging peptides, and hyaluronic acid. Um, a little bit goes a long way with this, and I am literally like almost out of this. I'm not sure if you can tell here, but I think I have like two or three uses left. And now the um, Age Intervention Retinol Plus. This is something I purchased uh, to add to the kit. It, it is not included in the kit, but alone it retails for $85. My most favorite product from the skincare management system is the BioClear Face Lotion because it helped to improve the texture of my skin. This is closely followed, however, by the Transformation Cream. Um, I loved this because it moisturized my skin without having to use a ton of product. I didn't feel like I had to slather my face with this. My least favorite product in the skincare management system may be the cleanser. And that is just because I, I love a lather, but otherwise I found the cleanser to be effective and non-drying. My second least favorite product with the uh, skincare management system may be the Siesta Facial uh, Serum. And that is only because it contains a handful of like poor sensitizing and irritating ingredients. I will say, however, that I personally did not experience any flaking, redness, irritation from the Siesta Facial Serum at all. And I use that morning and evening. Seeing the ingredients list alone and seeing all of the poor ingredients that's why it's my least favorite. Um, is it going to give your skin some antioxidants? Absolutely. But in the back of my head, I know that within that formula, there's some sensitizing ingredients and it is uh, to kind of mask the scent of, of the vitamin C. As far as the um, sunscreen is concerned, I like it. Um, I like that it works great as a makeup primer. Um, I haven't had to use a makeup primer since I started using the skincare management system. It does, however, make my matte velvet skin foundation by Makeup Forever look a little bit more skin-like. So if you have got the funds, or if you are overusing a ton of products from other ranges and you're also ready for uh, results driven skincare products, I definitely recommend the Jan Marini skincare management system. If you want to ease into perhaps purchasing the kit, I would maybe start by picking up the BioClear face lotion. If you tolerate uh, fragrance or sensitizing ingredients well. You may also want to add the Siesta Facial Serum as I feel like those two products will transform your skin. Maybe then you could add the Transformation Cream. So I am definitely going to miss using the Jan Marini 
skincare management system. The first product I will say that I emptied is the Siesta Facial Serum as I use that both morning and evening. I used the Siesta, I want to say, for a little bit over five weeks. I will be emptying the Transformation Cream in like one or two days. I am still testing and using the Retinol so do expect a review on that soon. I am drowning in products to test, so I can't wait to test the products and get those reviews out to you. I think that is all. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I think that is all. Again, let me know if you have any questions about the system. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you uh, never miss an upload. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. So there, I feel like it was more, there was, yeah, no, kind of, no, no, I don't want to say that. Uh, I'll, and this, this was a matte foundation on rotation. That rhymed. <laughs>